some folks are really frumpy. I had one guy yesterday tell me, well, I'm not really into church. I, I don't do church. I'm like, that's okay. God can save you too. <laughs> I love it. I love people. But I'm finding more and more everyday saints that folks, um, their countenance is down. They're not happy. They're just frumpy. Uh, a little bit ago, a lady come in. She was okay. Just, hey, you know, look around. A lot of times people just, you know, they want to look, see if there's something that, that they might want. And uh, we're an outreach ministry. We're a prayer ministry. Uh, church without walls. SWAT Church is a church without walls. And we don't believe in um, walls put up to keep people out or keep them all in. We believe that the church is the hands and the feet and the voice and that if you are born again believer, then you're going to be doing the work of the Lord. You might go to a building to fellowship with other believers, but that's not going to be where your only sustenance is. You're going to be in the word for yourself. You're going to be out doing the work of the Lord. Uh, according to the word of God, no one is retired or immune from doing the work of the Lord. Go ye therefore into all the world preaching the gospel. So, I just noticed something. Okay, my new hat, love. If I'm going to advertise love, then I need to deliver love. If you come up in here and you're, you've are you got a blessed girl t-shirt on and I say, Hey, blessed girl, how are you? And it's like, I'm going to tell you what, saints. If you're going to put it on your hat or your person, you're advertising something. Okay? You're not advertising for Coca-Cola. You're not advertising for Nike. You're advertising for the Lord God Almighty. Don't you think it's time, saints, that we realize that we're a walking advertisement? And it, if you're going to put it on your body and say, I'm a blessed girl, then you need to walk around being a blessed girl and being a blessing to other people and not be frumpy. And I just want to remind myself, including you, me and you both, that we don't know what people are going through. That's why SWAT Church is a prayer ministry outside the four walls. We go to the hedges and the highways because the, the rich folk and the snobby folk and the religious folk, yeah, that all say I'm saved and born again, they're not coming to the marriage supper because they have excuses. So love them, God bless them, hopefully they'll be done with the excuses and they'll get up and be about their father's work. But in the meantime, if we are advertising that we're born again believers in Jesus Christ of Nazareth, then make sure that you understand that you are a walking, talking, breathing, action verb advertisement. And whatever you advertise, saints, whether it's love or just maybe take the cap off, put hate up there. Yeah, I know that's sad to say, but born again, believing, confessing Christians, not walking in love, walking in hate, walking in offense and jealousy and all other manner of things. I personally am guilty of saying Jesus out of one side of my pie hole and <laughs> out of the other side. So, you know, I got the beam out of my eye so that I can help somebody get the speck out of theirs. So the moral to this story is it's time to love, accept, and forgive and if you are going to advertise that you're a blessed girl or you're going to advertise love, then you need to deliver the goods. It's sister with a testimony in the field, loving people, and doing the work of an evangelist, doing the work of the Great Commission. My brethren are those that do the will of the Father. God bless you. It's sister with a testimony, loving people where they're at. I'm not judging them. I'm looking at their fruit, and I'm loving them. I plead and apply the blood of Yahushua Hamashiach over you to hide, protect, and keep you. Have a wonderful day. Oh, pray for me.